Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I want to talk about Adobe's Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator. To me, I find these programs very similar. However, they do different things and there's different uses for them. But the first program I want to talk about is Photoshop. So Photoshop is usually supposed to be used just for pictures. However, uh, a lot of people use it for graphic design uses, for creating uh, business cards, brochures, etc. And also you can use it to build logos. Um, the one thing you need to keep in mind about Photoshop that it is pixel based. So it's everything you create in Photoshop is going to be uh, consisted of pixels. Uh, but really the big use of Photoshop is for editing pictures and uh, cleaning up, retouching, and doing a whole bunch of cool little effects to it. But of course a lot of people use it to design their own business cards and such not. To recap, Photoshop is consisted of photo editing, graphic design, logos, and it is pixel based. So let's go ahead and move on to Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is very similar to Photoshop except uh, that it's used more for graphic design uses such as logos and vector objects. However, you can create, you know, brochures, flyers, just like you can in Photoshop. Except the biggest thing in Illustrator is that you really can't edit photos. And secondly, um, it is vector based, you know, it's geometry, it's not consisted of pixels. So that means you can basically create something in Illustrator and scale it up and it will not lose an ounce of quality compared to like something you would create in Photoshop, which is pixel based. So if you scale that up, you can start to see the pixels. Um, in Illustrator, you won't be able to see uh, any pixels because it's all vector based. So Illustrator is really just accepted as, you know, a logo design program and also to create, you know, icons and vectors and things like that because those are needed to be stretched up um, and it is much easier to design a logo and you know sort of graphic elements than it is in Photoshop however you know the programs are somewhat similar in the tools that you would need to use to create those objects so right there you know Photoshop and Illustrator have you know their similarities but also they have their differences so if you want to create logos uh, or vector objects Illustrator is a program to go with however who's telling you not to use Photoshop to recap Illustrator is widely used for graphic design purposes, create logos and vectors, and then also it is vector based. InDesign is very similar to Photoshop and Illustrator, except in InDesign, you're able to work with multiple pages at once. So compared to Photoshop and Illustrator, where you're working with one uh, document, um, InDesign allows you to work with multiple pages. So if you want to design like a magazine, a catalog, a brochure, or anything like that, InDesign is a program to go with. Because you can like basically merge the pages together or like, uh, you know, overlay pictures on separate pages and you're able to see what that looks like. You're able to export uh, all your content into uh, a multi-page PDF compared to, you know, Photoshop and Illustrator where if you exported a PDF, it'd just be uh, one page. So the multi-page capability is the reason why uh, InDesign is a popular program. Um, now you can design, uh, you know, single page documents. Uh, but you can do basically all that in Photoshop and Illustrator. And you can design logos in InDesign, except it is a little bit tougher. I don't prefer to design a logo in InDesign. Uh, Illustrator is definitely a program to go with. Photoshop is definitely easier to design a logo in. Um, but really, those are the three uses for uh, InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop. <clears throat> so to recap, InDesign is used for uh, graphic design purposes and if you want to create a multi-page document. So these are the uses of these three programs. It's really up to you what you want to use. I just really wanted to talk about this since I really believe that these three programs could actually be the same program. And if you're watching this video in the future, you might be like saying to yourself, what's InDesign or Illustrator? You know, I'm pretty sure one day that this, these three programs will be one, you know, piece of software, but I don't think it's going to be soon. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you soon.